Yeah, I go to around my neck, that shit to make you blink. YouTube, what is up? What's good, you guys? It's the Bull Beat. Shout out to the Bull Nation. Hope y'all feeling good, man. I'm feeling good. Before we get to the video, you know, I hope everybody had a, you know, had a great weekend. You know, Thanksgiving weekend, Black Friday. Today, Saturday, Monday, I've been getting bombarded with emails. Got 30% off here. Got maybe like a 40% off here. Got another 20% off there. You know, it deals galore. So, you know, I might, I might spend a little bread. You know, I might do a little, little something, something. I don't know. But pretty much today's video, I'm going over, over like how to like not really like over, overload yourself. So pretty much why I bring this up because um, kind of got tied to a a few church services that I miss online at Zion Church. Um, so, and like the past start, start a new service, like, like, like a new, uh, not service, new series called, um, I think it's like Margin. So pretty much, it's, it's pretty much talking about like our level of responsibilities and our level of resources. And he pretty much talked about how a lot of us, including myself, have either, either like sit the same amount of responsibilities, resources. Maybe a little bit more responsibilities and lower resources, or maybe like something like this. But the main thing is that like we don't have too much margin to, you know, either like it could be a slip up, could be a you know, flexibility because if your resources and your and your responsibilities are about a level, you, you, like you got no margin, you can, like like you can't mess up, you can't, you, you know, you know, it, it won any like, um, I guess what that was we're looking for, like, um, I guess. Crazy occurrence happens, you know, maybe like, for example, you get a car accident. Boom, we gotta like pay your deductible, or boom, like unexpected uh, expense comes in. There you go, that's, that's what I'm looking for. Like, so, like something like that comes in, and, and you're gonna be stressing out, you're gonna be, you're gonna be, like, like, well, like you said, like pushed to the edge in that, in that sense. And I pretty much wanted to bring that too, because like, I feel though, like, a lot of people like are nowadays. Kind of like at like that overloaded, overwhelmed stage because you know we're so used to having to go like it's, 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 like it's such a go 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 like society and it's constantly like like a grind you know we got to grind do this got to grind do this got to grind do that and well and while it sounds like it sounds all dandy you know you know grind to have you know several incomes or you grinding to get so much so much old time at work or like for example in my in my, in my case you know it'd be people like grind to be YouTubers or TikTok influencers, or Instagram influencers, but at the same time, we gotta learn how to rest ourselves. We gotta learn how to, you know, maybe like pull back on some things. And I see, shoot, responsibilities could be more than that. It could be, you know, trying to look, trying to like look like everybody else, trying to, you know, maybe try to like buy like all of the expensive clothes, which is shoes. Could be trying to like buy, you know, a new car every few years and try to keep up with people. And a lot, like a lot of that, like that, like that's the burden, like like that's really something that we, that we carrying that we should be carrying. And I, was, I feel, I feel, and then they, like I feel that because it, it was short, it was like a short time where I was like I was kind of like buying, hoping stuff. And you know, you know, like you know, one I did, I did want it, but two, you know, it was kind of like to keep up with you know other people. But now, now look at now looking back or looking like recently, I'm like, oh man, like I gotta I gotta chill back. And then I know another thing for me, YouTube. I kind of had to like maybe try to delegate, maybe like because pretty much YouTube I do everything. I film everything, I edit everything, I do my own marketing. Uh, so and then and then with the podcast, I kind of I kind of do our uh, our marketing and things like that too. So I just I just don't do that editing. That ain't gonna take a while, but. Besides that, yeah, I probably do everything on that side too. So, um, I think on my end, I just gotta learn how to delegate more, or maybe like I might just have to just pay people to, you know, maybe promote us, promote our uh, podcast, or promote my videos, um, or maybe like somebody like, like create like shorts, so I can push YouTube shorts, or put shorts on TikTok, and then and things like that to help promote my my, my content as well. So, uh, but things like. Honestly, man, I've been feeling I've been feeling overload recently at work. I just, I just feel like my mind is getting so crazy because like I'm trying to juggle, you know, learning learning a new service. I'm on a new team, so I gotta like do this, and then I'm getting new tasks that I haven't gone before, and yeah, it, it, like it, it like it, it feel like I feel like it's so overwhelming. Like at first, because I'm like I'm trying to learn, but at the same time I'm trying to reach out to people. At the same time, I'm trying to get stuff done, and then. 
another another un unfortunate thing for me is that like I had like kind of, I had like a bad like I guess first like I don't I, I really want to say report card but it's kind of like a first like update or well my well my so could connect but yeah I, I had a bad though so like so like so like that's nothing I gotta worry about myself it's like oh, okay and like, like now a lot like, now I gotta show that you know I'm a true worker I'm a true like, I I could like I, I could do this. And like that, I like had the right like motivation, the right determination, the right work ethic. So, yeah, I just definitely have been uh, overload, overloaded. So definitely, I say my goals. Uh, some people who listen here is like try try to you know don't say yes to everything. That's like that's really like like the first thing is like you gotta say no. You know, it might it might hurt you at first. You know, like like you might you might think like oh man like I'm not like reliable person. I can't say no. They're gonna be disappointed in me. No, like, yeah. You gotta say no. You gotta say no just for, just for your sake. Just for your sanity, your peace. You gotta say no to, to some things. Uh, and then two, yeah, my handler, my handler to delegate. You know, you might, you might be trying to do everything at work. You might be trying to do everything, you know. You like be like like that team, like that sports team mom. They teach everything. My had to delegate that. Or or so you might be a, one of the leaders of a volunteer event or. Um, any club activities you might just have to delegate more and like just make sure it frees you up because because uh, like because Tom Tom is Tom is finite like so you know, so you know, the, the six minutes that six minutes and forty two seconds that I'm doing right now I can't get that back but you know but still Tom is finite you do like so 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 like things like you gotta make sure it's time for yourself and you got a family you gotta make sure you have time for your family. The kids, so your parents, grandparents, like everybody, even even friends that you might have to catch up with, because that's the, that's pretty much what the overload is. Pretty much the overload is that like you you ca you're constantly doing stuff, you're constantly on the grind, you're constantly trying to do stuff that you forget about family, you forget about connecting with others, and and like honestly, like that like that's what leads to like that burnout. That's what leads to you know burnout can lead to you know. Irritable behavior can lead to like mood swings, stress, um, and honestly, it leads to health issues because uh, a lot of times stress ca causes those, you know, oh man, like like my back's hurting or, you know, I, I keep getting sick, um, you know, joints hurting, like like a lot of times like the stress because stress can, you know, weaken the immune system or you know cause uh, you know body pains and. All that's occurring from from weight that you don't need on, on your back, so that's pretty much like my two things is to say no and definitely delegate. Um, and I guess, I guess another is try, I guess live the means like we don't try to buy or, or don't try to buy all the newest stuff or all the newest designer stuff all the time. Just scale back, and you know maybe maybe, maybe like, like maybe buy them like I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Well, depend on depend on how your money is. You, you do like buy something like really crazy. Maybe one like one time a month. Maybe one time every two months. One time every three months. Yeah, this, and it's the the slow show to try to like reel back a little bit. You know, free yourself a bit more financially as well. Cause that's another thing that people are like overloaded with. It's like a lot of debt or just constantly spending their check on stuff, and then they end the limp limp pay that paycheck can't save money. Boom. So, but that's all I got for this uh for this video. If you like it, get a thumbs up, subscribe, and I catch y'all next time.